Welcome back to Mass Appeal, everyone. It's rhubarb season, but oftentimes we don't know how to use this delicious vegetable, so we're gonna make a rhubarb dump cake. We're doing it with Tinky Weisblatt. She's a food writer, tinkycooks.com. And you also do a little bit of everything. It's a pleasure to have you here. Oh, it's a pleasure to be with you, my dear Seth. Now, you love rhubarb so much. Love it. You've named someone special in your life after it. My cat <laughs> is named rhubarb. Ruby for short sometimes. But, of course. But because she's kind of like rhubarb, she's a little bit, we know what cats are like. She's a little bit, Heart. Okay. She's a little bit bossy, mm -hmm. assertive. That's what rhubarb is like. See, but now I'm thinking about eating your cat, and I, I don't <laughs> no, want it. I'd I'm rather sorry. eat a delicious dump cake. <laughs> and a dump cake's <laughs> similarly unappealing, but it refers to a practice of uh, easy cake making. You this just dump a bunch of stuff. So easy. And this recipe is for my friend Vicki. Hello, Vicki. Who works really hard. She cleans houses. She's a waitress. She has a family. She mows her lawn. She has no time for, like, fancy cooking. Mm -hmm. But she makes good things. Okay. So this is, I have to say, I, Tinky Weisblatt, tend to be a little bit ambivalent about cake mixes. But... I have made this without a cake mix, but then it's no longer a dump cake. The idea of a dump cake is you just dump everything yeah. in in layers. Then it's pain in the neck cake. If you make it without the cake mix, you have to mix things first. That's oh, not dumping. It. Okay, let's dump so away. So we're dumping. So first, the first thing I pre-dumped mm -hmm. is our rhubarb. And this is about four cups of rhubarb, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to fill your 9 by 13 pan. So you don't actually have to measure the rhubarb. And this is all rhubarb stock. We don't want to eat the leaves, right? We definitely would be poisoning people if we ate the okay, leaves. Okay, so, so uh, once again, just so we clear all our legal hoops, don't eat the top parts. No. Don't eat them. Just eat this part. This part, and it's so versatile. So we're going to show you versatile one. Okay, so we've dumped so one. We what do we dump one. next? We dump a little sugar, quite a bit of sugar, actually, half a cup of sugar on top. Now, the recipe has an option, and you'll see this on your website, for putting strawberry jello. My feeling about the strawberry jello is that's going too far in the artificial food category. Okay, okay like for it. me, it tastes like fake strawberries. If you had real strawberries, put them on. But, and it also gives it a very red color. But this will be red enough. Yeah, okay, I would that's agree. That. Okay. Cinnamon. And Vicky, dumping. Yeah. Vicky. I'm not using spoons. I'm, I'm no, just keeping dump, true to just dumping. Just sprinkle. Okay, here we go. Vicky didn't actually put in the cinnamon, but I feel that rhubarb calls out for cinnamon. Can you hear it? So I want some cinnamon. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what the rhubarb is saying so currently. Next, a cake, cake mix. mix. Okay. Yellow cake. Now, if you want to get elegant, and I advise you to, but I couldn't get this in time, go for a, a nicer mix, like King Arthur flour mix, a really good yellow cake. But you know what? Use what you have at your yeah. local store. So we just dump that on top. Okay. And we might just... A little bit. I know we're not. Even it out a little? Even it out a little. You know, yeah. yeah. We're yeah, still exactly. dumping. Exactly. We're still dumping. Yeah. Okay. That's it? No, there's a little more. Okay. Um, Dump some water? One cup of water. If you're using a cake mix that calls for milk, then it's going to be a cup of milk. So whatever your mix indicates. And then one half stick of butter. Yep. And that's it. That's it. I mean... We're going to have leftover time, so I can go over harvesting rhubarb again. I do it every year. Well, can we talk about it a little bit later in the show? Oh, if you have no more time. I mean, we got there. a ton to get to today, Tinks. It's a huge day. we got David Duchovny later on the show. Well, Isn't I'm that? up for David Duchovny. Oh, well, we'll have David, to let him. David, I call to you. Okay. So we're going to put this in the oven at what temperature for how long? 350, 45 minutes. Okay. And we'll have a little bite later. We're going to pull one out later. We're also making rhubarb salsa. Is that we right? We are because it's National Salsa Month. Woo! And then also uh, she might marry David Duchovny. Who's to know? Either way, we know we're making rhubarb salsa Pinky a little bit Duchovny, later Duchovny, I think I'll keep my maiden name. There's a nice ring to it. Also coming <laughs> National Salsa Month. I also want to call it National Slime Month. Tomatoes. They aren't very out and abundant yet, but you can use a, your very own to make a rhubarb savory salsa. We have Tinky, you are a writer, foodcooks.com. You're back. So what we're trying to get to, you know, it's not necessarily tomato season yet, so get them. I think, personally, that yeah. May should be called National Rhubarb Month. See, I'm petitioning for Slime Month. Well, so rhubarb slime? Rhubarb slime. There we are. There we go. <laughs> so we're making we're making a rhubarb salsa. And you're chopping me some beautiful yellow pepper. All right. And meanwhile, I have to d explain about the part that I had to do in advance. Okay. But it's very easy. So what I did was I took some rhubarb and yep. I chopped it very, 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 uh, not very small because I don't do anything small, but reasonably small, like that. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably, you know, the size of a marble. Yes. Then I took some ginger and type, ch chopped that very finely. Mm -hmm. I put them in a stainless steel sieve. Okay. It has to be stainless. If it's 
Not stainless if it's, um, well, it could be ceramic, but if it's, um, what word I'm looking for, aluminum, aluminum. it will react against the, the acidic root. Oh, line. we don't want that. So you put them in there, you boil water, Okay. you pop it in the water, and it, I think I said till it boils again on the website, it may not even be that much. You, what you really want to do is soften the rhubarb a little bit. So it's like we're blanching you, it. You don't want, exactly, you don't want it to go away. So you're just monitoring your rhubarb. And after you do that, which is why I didn't do it on camera, mm -hmm. it has to cool and drain. And then once it cools, it becomes the base this of our it. salsa. This is the base of our salsa. So we're going to start our salsa. Okay. Here's a bowl. Thank you. I'm going to put it right here so everybody okay. at home can see it. Why don't you put the pepper. Okay. We have some pepper. Now this is, looks like onion, onion, garlic, garlic, and jalapeno. Ooh, all right. Let's get these in there. Now, if we were doing this at home, mm -hmm. some of us would put in cilantro. Yes. And there is cilantro in that one. But Ashley asked me to save her some post-slime salsa. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was cruel for a woman who was slimed to have to eat something she doesn't She's like. She's got a bunch of slime on her yeah. face. We should She's give her some cilantro delicious girl. salsa. So here's this. Then we're going to take a little bit of Lime juice. Okay, a little bit of lime juice. Oh, no. oh, all right. That's all right. We'll do it the other way. Fine. We need a little honey. I would have mixed the honey <laughs> with the lime juice, but oh. it doesn't matter. Well, you know. Uh, just like it's two all little going teaspoons to the same of place honey. Anyways. Okay, so that's, there's one right here. And then we add the rhubarb. Then we add the rhubarb. Now we and mix some this all salt. together. I would mix it first okay. and then add the rhubarb. Yeah, it's a great point. Isn't it pretty? I love it. The rhubarb loses a little bit of its color, but that the pepper gives it so much beautiful. All right, lay Ready? the rhubarb on me, Tinky. Rhubarb. There we are. Salt. A little salt. There you go. Boop, boop, boop. Salt coming up. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Simple. Now, also, in case people missed it earlier, can we please talk about your uh, your dump cake? Well, how about if you want to eat it? Wanted to eat some? Yep. Do you want to taste the salsa first? I do. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, taste it. Can't the ruin my dinner. What do you think? Not bad. I think that's great. It's awesome, isn't it? Okay. That's fantastic. Now we're going to grab, let's see how hot this is. Oh, I am a woman of, of steel. Okay, here's our dump cake. Okay. Here's a bowl for you, my dear. A little bit. A little bit of this right here. It's a little wet underneath, but it's, it's kind of like a crisp. And you think about how easy it is. It was amazing. It was amazing. Would you like a little tiny whipped cream? I will never, here? ever say no to whipped cream. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Tinky, it looks fantastic. Now, 